How can I? How couldn't we sing a song to praise the name of the Lord? It's very deep, this phrase. Right? Not only for us to sing, but uh, for us to meditate. Amen? I greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite everyone to stand up. Uh, before, however, in the morning, we are not used to it. But we have this habit of the bread to see a satellite teaching about a couple of themes. But today, we are not going to have the broadcast. So we are going to have here, among us, the meditation on the word of the Lord. With the blessing of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord. Right? Let us open the Bible in Genesis. Chapter 12. We're going to read a couple of verses. Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country from your family in your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make you make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed amen the church may be seated my brethren my beloved brethren the theme since the theme of this month is the family we could not uh, escape from what the Lord has already shown to this church the family. We know that it was constituted by the Lord in the Eden when the Lord creates Adam through the dust, the clay, so then he makes there the, the clay uh, statue and he blows the breath of life and Adam was created from nothing God created life right because our life is a miracle we are a miracle because we are we come from the dust of the earth we are clay fragile our constitution physically is very weak our flesh is very weak but there is inside of us the breath of life and the Lord placed that breath there and who's the life Li the life is Jesus that give us the breath of life to survive in this world. It's Jesus. Our breath of life is Jesus. And it's to Him that we um, go after every moment. But Jesus saw that it was not good that Adam lived uh, alone. So, from Adam, he takes um, one of his ribs, right? And then Adam fell asleep. The Lord goes there, takes 
because uh, the woman, she's uh, her. The, the matter that the woman was built of out of was for men. She didn't come out of nothing. She was created because God took her out of Adam in his wisdom. God created man. And there, there was in the Garden of Eden an environment that was appropriated, appropriate for Adam and Eve to live. An environment in which there was no sin, where they were protected from the attacks and where the family was preserved. But when Adam and Eve left uh, this divine plan, this divine project, so then they begin to experience the trials of this life. They begin to face the situations adverse situations of this life because their eyes were opened because they tasted of the fruit of the tree that the Lord had said not to try to taste which was the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil Man always has always been very curious, right? And from this curiosity, he got into trouble. But the eternal plan of God does not stop. Because the salvation of the Lord is eternal. He does not stop in favor of man and of the family. Even though their the family was destroyed, the family was a target of an attack. But the Lord, He tried to preserve that family, right? So, so the history was the story was unfolding and then we come to Abraham and Abram that ended up having his name changed to Abraham Abram was there in his city on his land in Mesopotamia and there was Abram and his wife Sarah And one day, God, the Lord, manifested to him, revealed himself to him, to Abram, and told Abram, Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. And it was a call of the Lord. We have already learned this. It was a call of the Lord. A call we may answer or we may not pay attention to this call. It is the result of free will that was given to men. God does not impose a situation for men to be uh, forced to follow him. No. So, get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house. Right? 
So those are three things. You got out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, right? So the first step of Abram and Sarah was to leave the country, the land. The land speaks of what we are connected to. We human beings, we are connected to the things of this earth. Man, by nature, is materialistic. He wants the things of this earth. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no judgment. But this is proper of our nature to want the things of this earth. We want to conquer the things of this earth. So the first step is to leave leave your country, leave your land, leave your personal space, leave the, pers the place where you are leaning on. Many times man leans on the things of this earth, on money, on a system, in thoughts and philosophies, human philosophies, and arguments. Leave your country. Get out of your country. It is difficult. Jesus said, Who wants to follow me has to deny himself pick up your cross and follow me. It is difficult. However, when Jesus was, although when Jesus was going to the Golgotha, carrying his cross, the Roman soldiers, there was a man there called Sibino. There was coming from the field and all of a sudden, it's you, it's you. What happened to me? I didn't do anything. No, no, you're going to help Jesus to carry the cross. Right? And he went and carried the cross of Jesus. But w when he came to the crucial moment of the death, who died was Jesus. Because Jesus does not allow man to carry his cross all the way to the death. Because Jesus overcame, uh, was victorious in death for us. He overcame death. He resurrected. And in Him, we are victorious in His resurrection. So pick up your cross and follow me. It's to leave the, the land. It's to leave the, the things of this earth. So now the second was to uh, leave your family. And there are many, there are many that are living in this moment um, among their relatives, right? Hearing advice from here, hearing advice from there, on WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp from there. <laughs> a friend sends a message. It's a cousin and a relative, as a nephew. And many are living by uh, surrounded by relatives. They are not seeking a personal experience with the Lord, right? They are living uh, surrounded by relatives. You see that text, a wonderful text that they said, and they get impressed. It impresses us. But the desire of the Lord is that you leave your family. It's not like we are not going to live our lives uh, gathering, reading, 
seeing and making comments. There's nothing wrong with that. Paul said that examine all things and retain only what is good. So it's nobody can condemn us. But there are many that live off of uh, their relationship with their relatives. There's no criticism, but it's just a comment. There was a person that I know came and said, I attend to that place because when I get there, when I get to trial and difficulty, there's a group there. There are a couple of pastors there that fast on my behalf, that pray for me, that go on early dawn for, my, for me. Is it what God wants? God wants us. And she said that she paid for it. We're not mentioning any name. That is man that is de dependent on, on their family. They don't want to leave their own experience and go on early dawn services or read the Bible. They don't want to fast. It is difficult. It's not easy. But they rather pay. No, so I pay there. They do like a chain of prayer there, and I pay. And they even stipulate the even the value, the amount. Is a personal problem. There is a little table of prices. It is personal. It's such a value. This is a family. No, no, it's more complicated. So now we're going to. And there is a, a table of prices. And there are people that live like that, living surrounded by their relatives. And they go to church as, as relatives, my brethren. The second tap, step of Abram was to leave your family. And the third step is to get out and get out of your father's house. House of the Father speaks of feeling comfortable. There's nothing better than the son living under the roof of his father. Even Brazil, with the financial situation that we have there, the unemployment, the son stays in the house of his father. Father and mother, they are retired. They wake up in the morning, there is a breakfast. They are comfortable there. And they like it. They maybe even have an opportunity of a job, but they, they don't want They want to stay in the house of their father. But the Lord wants to remove us from the house of our father. Our, of our comfort zone. What what uh, brings us to um, numbness spiritually. The Lord wants to remove that from, uh, us from that. My brethren, this is the word that the Lord has for us. That in this morning that we may meditate on it. Always think, Lord, have I left my land? Examine yourself. Have I left my family? Lord, have I left the house of my father? How is my life? My, my life. Not yours. My, my life. I'm preaching to myself. Sometimes people say, oh, the preacher, the preacher preached for the church. No. Sometimes the preacher preaches for himself. And it's much more serious to preach and not to leave what you're preaching. But here is this meditation, this month, this is the month of the family. We are placed in the presence of the Lord. Our purposes. So, uh, however, uh, what I would like to remind you that once Jesus 
was there, surrounded by a great multitude, and his disciples appeared there and asked him, they speak to him, Master, out there, uh, there outside, the f your family is waiting for you. And Jesus asked the following, Who is, who are my bro brothers? Who are my parents? Who is my family? And Jesus said, my family, my family are those that hear my word and practice the, the words. Those are uh, inside, not outside. Oh, hey, your family is outside. No, we need to be inside of the fellowship with the Lord, inside of the church. Here's our, our family. Our family is here. And here's where the Lord has brought us to bless us. Let's sing a song.
and I will cur and I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse who him who curses you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed, my brethren. Sometimes you see the life of David, and you only see an aspect sometimes. But if you look to the aspect of family, David had many problems. He faced great problems in his family. Right? Our problems are tiny compared to his problems. But he was faithful. He was able to administer. And the other one that had problems in his family was Hannah and Samuel and Penina. They had problems as well. God gave them wisdom to administer the situation, right? Sometimes you see, hey, my family is a blessing. Right, a blessing because God's going to bless. God's going to bless. As, as we seek the Lord, God's going to begin to bless and we are administer using wisdom. That's why in the morning, one of the right markers, one of the reasons for us to pray for is to for the Lord to give wisdom in, in raising our children. My brother, it's very difficult. We are living in a time that is very complicated. And the attack comes and comes and is great. It's not small against the family. Putting brother against brother and parents against children. This is prophetic. We cannot run away from it. Because Jesus said that at the end it was going to be like that. And we don't have to fear what is prophet prophetic. We have to only place ourselves in the position in which and the Lord will bless us. Now let us hear the children praising the name of the Lord. Your inheritance, right?
Every the church to stand up. We're going to pray with the children and the inter intermediary and the teachers and the adolescents as well, right? One of the deacons. Father in heaven. Praise your name, because you truly have blessed us, have blessed us. Lord, you have brought us your salvation. Blessed be your name. Remain with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. And I wish the peace of the Lord to everyone. Is there any announcement? Yes. This is the week of, uh, is the, week of the fasting in favor of the families. So, yes, exactly. So, there is a, an instruction of the Lord so that everyone, every brother that comes on early dawn on Saturday, there may be an imposition of hands. There was one yesterday, yes. We already have done it, uh, in position of hands. But those families that may come to represent their families, please come and receive the imposition of hands. The service tonight is 7.30 p.m. Everyone is invited. And the fasting for the week. Amen. And I say peace to the Lord to everyone.